Hello everybody, Double J101 back again with another toy review. And today we are going to do our first ever third party review. This is Trinity Force Raging Bull, aka the Brain Master Laster. Now Laster is one of the three that create Road Caesar from Transformers Victory. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at the packaging before we get them open. We have some nice artwork here of Raging Bull, a window to see the figure, the face, and the Brain Master himself. Picture of Raging Bull on the side. Car mode, robot mode, leg mode of Raging Bull. On the side we see Raging Bull with a piece of equipment on top of him. On the back we see some tech specs, as well as collect all three members to combine the Wisdom Trinity Force, as well as what he includes in the packaging. Nice shot here of the figure in robot mode and vehicle. And some information here on the bottom, ages 15 and up. And really that's about it for the packaging. So let's go ahead and get this guy open and see if he's as cool as he seems to be. And here we have Raging Bull out of his box and in his vehicle mode. Now before we take a look at the figure, let's see what he came with in his packaging. First we can see he comes with some extra bits and pieces. It's nice that they included that. We have two little weapons here. He can use these as guns, which they fold up like so. Make nice little weapons there, or fold them out to do more later on. We have a head that he includes, with nice light piping in the background to see the blue eyes really shine through. We have a nice long sword here to be used later on when he's in combined mode. And lastly, we have the Brain Master himself, who's not really painted too much, he's just black and yellow, but boy, he has some articulation. You can see the legs go up, or the arms go up, and the legs move as well, which is surprising. You, they didn't really have to do that, but that, that's really cool. And on the back, you see where the mouth of the robot will be once you add him into the transformation. Now, for Raging Bull himself, he looks like he is a Lamborghini of sorts. Kind of reminds me a lot of the... Kind of reminds me a lot of Sideswipe from Takara. Just kind of has that same kind of look to him. Of course, this is not Takara, but still. He's got some good heft to him. Rubber wheels here with the silver paint in the middle. Nice flame detail here on the front and the side. As well as a nice yellow and black color scheme throughout. We have some translucent plastic here for the headlights. As well as some red paint here on the front. Now here on the front of the figure, you can take some of them little pieces and that were in that baggie. Add them onto the figure himself right about there and right about here. Which adds some nice cover up for those holes. Mine kind of has some plastic that is off. I might take a little knife to it and kind of loosen that. Kind of get rid of some of that extra plastic on there, but for the time being it's okay like it is. As you can see. Now for comparison, let's go ahead and bring in blue streaks to get a nice size difference between the two. See how well they scale together. They're about the right size. Raging Bull is a little bigger than I would hope he would be, but really I, I didn't really buy him for the car mode. I understand that they have to actually compensate for robot mode later on, so I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. As well as the comparison between Optimus Prime himself. Now this one is, again, a little off, but again, I got him for his robot mode as well as combined. I think I'm going to display him as the full Trinity Force combined together slash Road Caesar. So this is just an option you can do. You can see the size difference between the two like so. Again, the Lamborghini is a little big, but, you know, it's okay. Now to get Raging Bull in his robot mode. First, let's go ahead and crack the front here. Bring this forward, down below, fold these pieces downwards, get these out of the way, kind of rotate them to the side. Once you do this, you can bring this piece and separate it. Bring these side pieces outwards. From here in the back, disconnect the windshield, bring it back and out of the way. Same with these front pieces, just move them out of the way. You can fold these tires up and out of the way as well. And with the arms, up and out of the way here at the sides. Disconnect these pieces right here and kind of fold these. Mine sadly broke. It 
it can be put back on, kind of, but it's not exactly the the best connection. So we'll just set that aside for a minute. That's actually one of the heels for robot mode. Then we're going to go ahead and separate here, bring these pieces forward to free this piece up to rotate these out of the way. That will then free the legs up to be rotated around. Nice, heavy ratchet. Now for the sides of these legs, this is a bit of a toughie. Let's go ahead and push the tire through, which when you do, right about here, you're pushing it through. This will loosen the front foot up to have it available to move forward and into its place where it should be. The tire then, move it out of the way for a minute while you get everything else situated. Fold this piece down. This heel, you're going to, it, it's a little tricky. Get the heel, rotate it down, out of the way, and rotate it backwards. This is by far the hardest part of this whole transformation. Now, if you turn it, if you turn it lightly, it turns that whole thing on the inside where you should be able just to move it up like it should. It's, like I said, really kind of sketchy on how it goes. But once you get it up, you should be able to take these two pieces these two pegs right here, peg it on in, close that up, get the heel in its location, and front of the leg, take this piece, fold it down, there's a little peg right here to peg in, rotate this forward and over, which then pegs in as well, and that's one of the legs done. This side, do the same thing, rotate this around, this little piece right here, if you rotate nicely, and slowly, it'll rotate easily for you. Rotate this around, like so. Again, it's a little tricky. Get that up, rotate that around, and there we go. Peg that in, bring this back piece around, click that together, and peg that in as well. The front, move this down. This side's a little tighter compared to the other side for some reason so I like to bend this one kind of get it nice and tight there connect so once you got it back here I mean you know mine I'll have to connect this piece back on just kind of with a little bit of pressure get it nice and straight put it back on okay I won't feel too much more with the legs there but now onto the top again we rotate this put this into the back like so, flip it around, trying to straighten out those wheels. Now this doesn't peg into anything, so you just kind of bring it up like that. On the other side, do the same thing, rotate this, bring this around, get it nice and straight before kind of collapsing the windshield on it. Bring the arms down. This part you're going to straighten out, make it nice and straight, shoulder down, lift this up. This you can then push forward to bring the hand out. Might be a little tough. Use the sword to push it out all the way. Get that forward. Rotate the hand. Do the same thing with the other side. Get that nice and straight. And get the hand out and again on this side. Nice and straight. Straighten the hand. Since we have the sword ready, let's go down here for the bottom. Get these heels out. They're not the easiest thing to get out with a lot of this guy. There we go. Okay. Now I got his legs situated how they should be. The last thing, one of the hardest things to do, is to get the head ready. Now with this piece, we need to somehow get this chest open and my heel fell off again. So this front piece, I find it easier to lift this head piece up and kind of push forward in the middle of the chest to kind of get that poked out at least a little bit so you can get a hold of it. Move this forward. As you move this forward, you may need to straighten out where the brain master goes, and that's a good thing to use the 
sword for. Get that kind of straight there. Get it nice straight in the inside there. Ready for the Brain Master. Take this little guy. Peg it inside. Once you get them all nice and straight. And for the moment of truth, the best part about these figures, take this, push it on up. And if you have it light, light straightened up completely, there you go. The head is up and ready to go. And there you have, there you have Raging Bull in his robot mode. Now that we have Raging Bull in his robot mode, let's take a quicker look at the detail of this figure. We have some nice paint detail and molding detail throughout the entire figure, throughout his chest, legs, lower legs as well, where the vehicle mode kind of was. Here in the hands, we have just normal plastic hands, no movement like some masterpieces do, but that's okay. Here on the chest, nice molding detail here in the middle, as well as these like ventilation looking things on the side. As for articulation, we have movement here on a very hard ratchet at the shoulder. Same here at the elbow, a little bit uh, double jointed here at the elbow. Same on this side as well, down here at the leg. We have a heavy ratchet coming there, and there goes my heel again. I'll just move that to the side. Have the leg go in and out like so, up and down, soft ratchet there. We have a swivel here at the feet, as well as the heel in the back. We also have rotation here at the waist, as well as some rotation at the thigh as well. Now the head sculpt is really nice. I do like the light piping that really brings out the eyes when the light is sufficient enough to bring it out. There is no movement back and forth. That's what the other head is for. If you ended up popping this one off and taking the little brain master out as well, popping that new head on, you can actually move it back and forth if you want. But for me, I like the whole aspect of the brain master, so I'm gonna keep mine together just like this. As for how he interacts with his equipment, we have his guns here. We just slip them on in to his hands, like so, which actually just kind of slip in pretty well, and they stay in place. There's no pegging like some of the masterpieces, but they do stay in very nicely. If you wanted to use his sword, which is pretty big, you just slip it on in his hand as well, and he has this as a possibility also. Now for some size comparison, I have two more we'll add in as well. We have Raging Bull next to Bumblebee. Get a good size comparison there. Next to Blue Streaks. Almost the same height. Raging Bull's a little bit taller. Next to Optimus Prime. You see there's quite a size difference there, but that's about the right kind of height you would want between the two. And last but not least, somebody else I forgot about earlier. Let's go ahead and bring in Star Saber, the leader from Victory. And you can see there's quite a size difference between these two. Just kind of towers completely over them. But once you get all three of Trinity Force together to make the Road Caesar, the size comparison will be a lot better. It'll be, it'll be more of what you would expect these two to be sized as. Now, as I always do, let's go ahead and put a G1 picture next to him to get a good comparison between the two and see if this is what might fit your need for a G1 replacement. But that's about it for this video. I hope you liked it. This is my first attempt at a third-party figure. If you have any suggestions about a figure you would like me to review or ones you think are pretty good figures to begin with that are third-party, please let me know down in the comments. As always, please like, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you if you already did, and I will see you again next time. Thanks for watching.